Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who's entered our seventh year of homeschooling. And today I wanted to come here and share with you our sixth grade math pre-algebra. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find us right down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Now, today I'm gonna to talk with you about Matthew C. I come here and I feel genuinely like a broken record because you guys know we found Matthew C through the Timberdoodle curriculum kits that we started using in my now sixth graders second grade year. And included in the kit is Matthew C for the math curriculum. I have people every single time I talk about math, all the time. You guys come here and you give me suggestions and I love it and it's amazing. And I always have people come and they're like, uh, you know, you should check out this kind of math because it aligns with what you say your learning styles are and the kids' learning styles and your preferences and all of that. And that may be 110% true. And I really appreciate it because I found a lot of amazing things that way. However, Matthew C, Matthew C is my ride or die. Why is that? Because we have now, I have used... Oh, I have all the way to pre-algebra. I use every single level of Matthew C between my two kids because my youngest is now repeating the first, no, the second level that my oldest used. So I have used um, primer, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, zeta, and now pre-algebra. I have never once been like, you know, we need to find a new math. I cannot, I don't know why, I don't know what it is about math, you see, but it works and it clicks so well for my kids. I love the format, I love teaching it because practically I don't. I love the way they use it and we don't even use it the way they recommend. So I have no idea why, but Matthew C is my ride or die until it does not work. And I will let you guys know if that, if that happens, I will, I will be the first one to be like, whoop, it was great for all these levels, but then it went south. But until that happens, I'm going to keep saying, thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing. But Matthew C. I mean, mm, love it. Okay. Like I said, we get in our Timberdoodle kits. I will have it linked both directly and the kits we use down below for you if you need that. But this year in sixth grade, my girl is doing pre-algebra. So I think technically that's one ahead because last year we did the fractions. <sighs> what was it? Delta? Zeta? We did fractions level and decimal because if you don't know Matthew C is a multi-sensory approach so there's like uh blocks that are specific to this program and then there's like for fractions and algebra there's like an overlay kit I'm just gonna down shoot and show you all this in a second um but they are mastery approach so there's a little bit of like review and stuff because like even now her pre-algebra has a few sheets of like fraction review stuff like that um but it is mastery approach so like you do all single digit addition and subtraction. You do all multiple digit addition and subtraction. You do all multiplication, all division, all fractions, all decimals. And now, cause guys, what happened is when your kids are in school, right? Like public school and they do a spiral approach and your kids are homeschooled and you know kids and cousins who are the same age and the math goes like this and you start to go like this um, in pre algebra where it goes like this. So oh, we made it. Oh, we made it through the darkness, y'all. And we have met back up with the people who are same grade also doing pre-algebra. So <laughs> oh, I sweated for a little while, but we're okay, guys. We made it. It was successful. Thank you. That was a journey. It's scary out there, but it's okay. Works out, works out. So we are now, again, I think like a year ahead, but it, it doesn't matter. We homeschool, who am I kidding? Um, so we are using Matthew C pre-algebra. How do we use it? Let me do that. And I'll tell you again when I've got the flip through because it'll be a little easier to see, but let me explain how we use it. There is a DVD, um, student worksheets that are divided into like lesson specific, systematic review, and then application and enrichment. Oh my gosh, I've never remembered, I'm so proud of myself. Um, and then there is also a test book which has every lesson test and then cumulative like unit tests. And so 
We use most, some of it, most of it. Here's what we do. We do on Mondays, we do watch the video and the first lesson page of the week to see how we're doing with that. Like, is it sitting well? We need to go back, we need to circle back, or we can do this on our own, we're okay for the week. That is how we, how we do that. If we're good on Monday with the A level, because they're A through G, I think. If we do good with the A sheet, then we skip B, do C. We do on Tuesday. If we do good with the C sheet on Tuesday, we skip D, we do E on Wednesday. If we're good there, is that right? A, C. Yes, if we're good there, then I usually have her do F. We don't usually do the application and enrichment um, pages. They can if they want to, because sometimes they want to. It's like a coloring or like something. It's more fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so then on Thursday, she'll do like F or G, whichever one, I'm good with that. So we don't do every single page. We, I do not do the lesson tests. I don't feel the need for it. We also don't school on Friday. So we, we school four days a week. Um, so she's doing watching the lesson video and then four sheets a week. And then if we need more practice, we absolutely do the other pages. But if we don't, we move on the next week. And then at the end of every unit, which is like seven or so lessons, we'll do the unit test. And that is how we do that. It works really well for us. So. I am going to give you a down shot and let you look at this, but I wanted to come here because I like to, at the start of a new year, because it's new things, I like to really focus on the big stuff, you know what I mean? So like math and language arts, I like to do early, and then I will update those every quarter update. Um, and then I also like to do them again at the end of the year, like specifically, because those are kind of like the big things, you know what I mean? Like there's not a whole lot of change in geography from beginning to end of the year. It just kind of is what it is and you use it the way you use it. But like math, I mean, that really, that's a big deal. People need to know. So that is how that works. Now I have a pile over here in my chair that I'm going to put on the floor and I'm going to down shoot and show you all of the things and give you, um, and I'm going to chat through while we do that. So let's pop over and we'll do that. Okay guys. So here is like all the things. Now the blocks we got with our very first set and you do not have to buy them every time. Uh, you can just kind of get the level up version, which is like just the new books and things or, when it was time, uh, the algebra decimal inserts. So I do have this handy box that gets so much use. I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, these are the blocks that go with it, but to be honest, my big kid has not used the blocks in quite a while. Now, this is the manipulatives set for algebra and decimals, and it just kind of helps them break the blocks down into pieces. So it's got all these little things in it and it was packaged by special needs adults, which I absolutely love. And um, yeah, so these are here when you need them for uh, decimal, pre-algebra and algebra. But again, you just buy it the one time, you don't have to buy it every time. Now, this is what I tend to get every year. As you can see, we've got our DVD video where Mr. Demi explains it and does it for us, which is gold to me. So we have our DVD, but you also don't have to have this because it comes with the, uh, this package comes with the code. So you can just like, you don't have to have a DVD player. You can access it online and watch the videos and get more worksheets, all that stuff that way. So having that, there's a digital toolbox where you can do all this online too. Um, it really is pretty amazing, all of the resources that they have available. So we've got our DVD. And the DVD very much mirrors the instructor manual. So pretty much every example he gives is right. It's like almost verbatim in the book. Now the book does have the answers. The teacher's guide does have the answers. And then kind of a little bit more glossary, symbols, formulas, things like that. So that is helpful. And I believe there was a misprint because I do have a sheet in here somewhere that was kind of separate. So there's that. Then there is the test booklet, which like I said, there's one test for every lesson. And then every so often you get um, a unit test. And the answers for this are also in your teacher's guide. Now let's look at the student workbook. Now this is perforated, which I love. Um, like I said, here, we'll just look at uh, 12 here. Like I said, there's a few pages of lesson specific practice. A, B, and C are all lesson specific practice. Then their systematic review starts on D. The little gray box is a quick review of something they've learned in previous levels. Um, and then there's E and F are also 
systematic reviews. And then G is application and enrichment lesson. So it just gives you an idea of how you would use this in the real world. Now, I do like that at the back of this book, you have the same kind of helpful information. So you have the same symbols, formulas, tables, glossaries, all available at the back of the student book as well. And that is a look inside, um, inside the Matthew C. Pre-Algebra. And you know what, really fast, let's just talk about what it goes over. So I don't know if it has it in here, but, Oh, and here's a grading page in the front that's really happy, helpful if you need that. But let's just go over right in the front of all the kind of math you see books, there is your table of contents. And so it tells you all of the things that you're going over. So negative numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, negative numbers with exponents, roots and radicals, solving for the unknown, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, least common multiples, polynomials, military time, irrational numbers. And then on the back of that right here is the little chart that helps you understand which level you're in um, and the curriculum sequence. And then I think it's really great. Here's the application and enrichment topics as well. Let you know kind of what you're going over there how to use it, but right here, major concepts and skills for pre-algebra is operations with integers, exponents, roots, and radicals, Pythagorean theorem, solving for the unknown, commutative, associative, and distributive properties, volume and surface area of solids, ratio and proportion, addition and multiplication of polynomials, additional concepts and skills for pre-algebras, temperature conversions, least common multiple and greatest common factor, military time, and adding and subtracting measurements. So that is what is covered in pre-algebra. And again, we are using it for sixth grade. Okay, so we are now officially two lessons into pre-algebra and I honestly feel like it's going pretty smoothly. So, but it's also just the first two lessons of this level. So again, I will be updating as we go, but for right now, which is really important when you're starting out to have a really good and optimistic, positive look ahead. So thank you, math. Um, but if you can do that, especially with math, it is a really good feeling. So that's where I'm at right now. That's where she's at right now. So it keeps up. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And like I said, I do have everything linked for you right down in the description box. Feel free to shoot me any questions you might have. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see, any questions you might have about this, or anything else. Bye, guys.